<clears throat> hey, collecting. I don't get an energy like uh, people being like working together in cahoots, doing like this is crazy. Let's see what's going on. Mm, social media, online accounts. Y'all, these readings are for entertainment purposes only. Don't make anything fit. Only take what resonates. And, ooh. But you know what? That's all right. Read that. It's all right. Have a good time. Because it's all right. Oh, it's all right. Everybody knows that it's all right. All right, let's see what's going on. Oh my goodness, goodness, goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm not, I'm not even going to read these cards, y'all. It's heartbreaking what folks be doing, man. Dang. You can't even just live. You know what I'm saying? You can't even just live a normal damn life. That's somebody trying to fuck it up. Okay, so we're going to start with these oracles. And uh, let's straighten it out. You and me, baby. What's going on for my collective? Please and thank you. Look at this serendipity. Some of you guys could be, there's something with like a four-leaf clover. This reminds me of that, uh, there's a card in my green deck. It says someone's luck is about to change. It's got a big four-leaf clover on it. 18 breaking down to a nine. Something is getting surrendered or released or... I'm also getting the energy of like, okay. Someone may see... Someone may see a set of skills in you. It's, it's giving, y'all remember that movie, The Departed? He said, what can I use you for? Somebody sees something in you. Okay? And um, it's, it's giving like a real unique situation. Because the other options or what they would normally say or do doesn't, it just doesn't seem right. It doesn't seem fitting for this situation. I don't know, you know, I don't know what this is, but it doesn't seem fitting for this situation. So there's going to be something else offered. It's a very unique situation here I'm picking up on. <laughs> Work all night on the drink of rum. They like on my Okay, so you have building blocks here. Now, this car came out the other day, and I said somebody was building something solid, and then all of those blocks came in. You see those little play blocks? There could be something here, something that has to do with children or something, but whenever these blocks came in, it caused someone to become, they kind of look pixelated. Uh, not all the way there and this person's looking out like who the hell doing this what's going on so there's definitely something in it 18 breaking down to a 9 which talks about surrendering and releasing 28 breaks down to a 10 which talks about an ending but it also talks about a beginning because we know where there's an ending there's about to be a brand new beginning here someone could be uh, how you say some of y'all could be adopting or look at this. This is the Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Milk and Honey. There's something unique about this situation, y'all. Okay? TikTok. TikTok. Some, somebody could feel as if they're running out of time or time's getting away from them or... All right, so we have main female coming out. 
marriage. Oh, that's not good. Because there's a three on this marriage card. So you're already dealing with three people. You got a main female, then you got a married couple. Change. There's something changing. And there's another nine. So by something changing, release, getting released or surrendered, um, opens up a pathway for someone. Gift. I feel like this is the unique situation right here. This is this is some type of offer. Okay, and it could be an an abundant offer. 17 breaking down to an 8, which speaks of abundance. Someone could even make a deal with you. Hey, if you do this, I'll do that or something like that. Y'all keep seeing something with a fire. It even made me cry the other day. There's something going on. Look at that fire right there. I was in the kitchen cooking and just out of nowhere, I just got this heavy feeling. Like, I don't know, man. Listen. I don't know. You have a mature woman that's in the reverse. This person's not playing right. This is somebody who watches for the weaknesses in a person. This is very manipulative energy. It could even be like a queen of swords. But, you know, a queen of swords in the reverse is cutthroat. And uh, I'm telling you, this is somebody who is definitely not playing right. This could be the mother of one of these married people. It could even be your aunt, the mother of this main female. Take how it resonates. All right, now you have a mature man out here. Now, this mature man is in the upright. That's the match to this mature woman, but the mature woman's in the reverse. Uh, community, child, great fortune, sudden wealth, distant horizon, and occupation. Someone could be in their thoughts about this this main female because it looks this main female look like the same person right here. What? This look like a wanted picture. Remember back in the day they had a wanted signs. That's what it looked like. But I also see the uh, paintbrushes and the doodling. So it's given someone could have gotten inspired by someone. This person just painted a portrait of this energy. And I feel like with the 16 breaking down to a seven, so something's moving in divine order. You break all these numbers down seven, eight, nine, and 10, right? Something may have taken a long time, but with the 16 breaking down to a seven, it reminds me of like the seven of swords or even the seven of cups. Someone could have been confused about a situation, now seeing, seeing things from a higher perspective here. I feel. And this person, they got their sleeves rolled up. They ready to work. This is somebody who works very hard. I mean, they could just be an artist. I don't know what to do, but they work very hard. They like a man in a woman. Six foot, seven foot, eight. Uh, I don't like this card. This card is this family room card. <laughs> it's talking about either what's hidden or secrets. But y'all know for the longest I was getting like cameras being in the family room. I don't like that. They 
There's another fire. There's another fire right here. It reminds me of a card that I had in one of my decks. I threw away. It said burning evidence or something. Coffin in the reverse. Something got opened back up. Expectations. Somebody's expectations could be coming to an end because also another 28 breaking down to a 10. Um, I seen a Lifetime movie where that's kind of what I'm getting. This, these, this mature man and mature woman, that could be a couple or business partners or, or something like that. Or co-workers or something, right? This mature woman in the verse, they wear the pants. But this mature man is standing up to somebody. You see, they're adamant. They're like, no. Or yes, whatever they're saying, okay? I feel like they could be doing something for the first time. And with there being a five on this card, whatever this person is saying is causing some type of change. Five represents change, chaos, conflict. And we do have the change card here. Okay? <coughs> Ace of Swords at the bottom of the day. So someone's getting to the truth and the clarity. I told you, seven of swords. I said this 16 breaking down to a seven. It either reminds me of the seven of swords or the seven of cups. Okay. But somebody is seeing things from a higher perspective. And not only that, they're cutting toward the truth. Cutting through. If there was any confusion, the ace of swords is mental clarity, truth and clarity. Before they move forward with something. Okay. So, yeah. And whatever this person is moving forward. Something could be getting a lot of attention with the Six of Wands. Because something could be high profile or something like that, right? Mm-mm. Uh -uh. Sometimes, you know how sometimes when something is high profile, they'll move it to like a small town or a quiet area where nobody has heard about something. That is kind of what I'm getting with this two of wands. I don't know what this is, y'all. Okay. See, there's that energy. Somebody's family, whether it be your own or someone else's family with the Ten of Cups, they are on some... Um, by any means necessary type shit. Page of Swords, Five of Swords, Ten of Cups. The Page of Swords is the stalking, watching, gossiping. The Five of Swords is jealousy, envy, whatever the hell they got to do to keep a person stuck. For some of y'all to get someone arrested with the Eight of Swords. It's a lot of shit going on. Damn. Alright. Hermit. Somebody could be dealing with a Virgo. But I feel like someone could be ghosting somebody. Someone could be withdrawn. Could be a king of pentacles. Could be withdrawn from someone. Okay, because this person could have choices, right? We saw the uh, two of pentacles, now you got the two of swords. And then the lovers is all about choices, right? I see a queen of wands here and I also see a queen of pentacles. 
whatever somebody's doing is going to cause a, a tower. And I see another fire. working together, collaborating on something with the Three of Pentacles. These could be co-workers and or family members. Whoever this is that's, sit, that's standing on this bench is flashing a light on something. And the Eight of Wands. Like I said, this could be messages coming in and out online watching the other ones is also like unstoppable forward movement yeah with the cherry here the cherry with the knight of swords because the knight of swords is giving the, the, the knight of swords is normally like a you would think of this as like a young soldier or something when you think of, when you read the description of a knight of swords you pair that with the cherry it that's the chair. It could be a police car, a fire truck, an ambulance. It's like service. Or it could just be a vehicle. Someone is upset. Someone is charging at someone. This could just be... all could have started because because i see this married couple you know there's a three somebody could have stepped out and that could have got all of this stuff started and maybe these people know people hey man four of pentacles queen of wands ace of pentacles five of cups that's the same thing as this gift so something unique happens out of this situation that's just what I see. Something unique happens. Okay. And I feel like something happened in the past with the Six of Cups. Something could have happened with a child. Um, it looked like this old woman could be bribing this child. Hey, I'm going to give you this if you do this, if you do that. Behind whoever this is, is back. So this could be like a mother, grandmother. But hell, this could be somebody that you don't even know. I don't know, but something happened in the past. So some type of unique situation comes out of this. And uh, I, I'm not really going to dig too much into that. Because I don't even like what I was getting with that two of wands already. Let's get a message from your higher self. Message from the highest self, please. Thank you. Transformation. A fresh new way of living emerges. Okay. And then somebody is able to lie back, rest, and relax. I don't feel like that was the plan. Couldn't have been with this energy. But even these people doing this, whether this is one person or a group of people, they know the truth. They're holding the sword of truth. It's like knowing the truth, but knowing that the sky is blue, but still being adamant, saying that it's gray. They, they knew the truth. They know the truth. Or something like that. Because it's right there. But everybody knows it now. Everybody knows your name. Dun, 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 dun. And we're always glad to Something's getting a lot of attention. Six of Wands. 
You know what I mean? What was that off of? Cheers. We want to go where everybody knows. Mm -mm. Okay. Some, some unique. Something unique happens out of this. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. And that's that milk and honey right there. Alright, if this is romantic, I doubt it, but if it is, let's look at it. the situation to unfold naturally there's a man a woman and a child so this situation could be involving children right somebody could be trying to bring something together look at the angels right you see how the angels are like oh but this person's very guarded and protected and this one's very controlling so maybe something has been put on hold maybe somebody wanted to look into a situation could be because maybe a family was lying or working together, something like that. Because a lot of the times the five of swords is that green. Somebody could have been filled with a little bit of envy because that's what the five of swords could stand for. Jealousy and envy, right? Trying to keep two people apart, some shit like that. And uh, even though they knew the truth, they said whatever. But remember I said now everybody's going to know the truth. Ace of swords. And so somebody done started pulling back with the hermit, pulling back and probably looking at things from, you know, our perspectives. Really, that's not what the hermit does. Really, the hermit goes within. Because the hermit realizes that they had everything that they need is within themselves. So if this is someone who was getting advice from a family or from a Ten of Cups, they are not doing that anymore because this Ten of Cups was on this type of energy right here. Whether this be your own family or somebody else's family. So somebody's just pulling back and, you know, asking themselves, does this make sense? Is this what I want to do? And la, 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 Okay? Because I, I do see this five of cups. And we did see that past card with the six of cups. So someone could have done something in the past, listened to someone else in the past, now regretting that. If you make a decision, you don't want to... You don't want to be in this right here, right? If you make a decision, how, how can I? You don't want to just be like, damn, it's y'all fault. Because at the end of the day, you really can't blame them. Even if they did come to you and lie and say, oh, no, this is what happened when that is really what happened. Because at the end of the day, you ultimately have to make the choice. You ultimately have to choose to do whatever you're going to do, right? So somebody could have made a choice in the past based on some bullshit. Um, and I'm also seeing a situation where this person, oh, and it reminds me of the thing that I saw the other night. This man, I, I watched it on YouTube. This man, he said um, his family was asking him. He did a whole damn interview on it while he married a black girl. And he was Arabic, I think. And they were asking him why he married a black girl. He was like, man, it went against everything culturally. Um, but... He said that he couldn't have children. She already had a child, you see? He couldn't have children, so... And he, I wish y'all could see it because he listed all of the things. He viewed her as a blessing to him. Like, for one, him medically not being able to have children when she already had one. You see what I'm saying? Um, that's kind of what I got with this. How this person is dressed and how she already has a child with her something like that so you know something unique is happening ace of pentacles ace of pentacles i don't know what it is but it could be that and then for some of you this five of cups is here because somebody 
either did or didn't do something in the past because this forgiving and learning. Someone could want somebody's forgiveness. And then your feelings are real and worth exploring. Okay. All right. Let's close this thing out. And just tell me where y'all need to go listen to God Bless Our Love. It, it, this song old, but oh my God. It's like a 12 minute song. Child, it came out in 1974. But when I tell you it still hit in 2023, I had never heard the song till like a week or two ago. Baby. <laughs> All right, what's going on? All right, somebody could be praying for something. Cut the cords, crown chakra, and have confidence. And see only love. All right, so somebody could want to, with this moving forward, right? Two of ones to the six of ones. Whatever this person is planning to do, I feel like they will be successful. Six of Wands is success. But it says moving forward does not necessarily require you to have confidence in yourself. Confidence in God is enough, along with knowing that God works through you and with you in all ways. Lean upon us if your confidence wavers. And we'll give you courage and faith. Somebody got to, somebody got to do something right here. I don't know who it is. I feel like it's this person who has withdrawn a little bit. Because this could be a lot of chitter chat, especially with this eight of wands. I mean, my goodness. Somebody could be talking about everything that someone says or does. There's, there's a lot going on right here. And then you got this angry energy. Okay. And something happened that causes a tower. Then you got this one person trying to stand up for themselves. Or at least defend whatever they believe in. This mature man right here. You got this mature woman that's in the reverse. Then you got these people right here collabing on something. And then you got some shit that's hidden with the family room. Then you got somebody over here in regret. And then this person throwing rocks, sitting back, uh, watching everything go down. And then whoever this is, they all in their head, but they're finding some inspiration out of the situation. It's just a lot of people here, man. It's a lot. Okay. Not, I mean, ain't nothing wrong with getting advice from people. But like I'm just saying, at the end of the day, you got to, you got to make the choice. So the crown chakra says, pay attention to your ideas. Your ideas. Huh? Pay attention to your ideas as they are messages of true divine guidance. Sit to answer your prayers. Because I already told you somebody right here was praying. In secret. With that moon. Somebody praying for something, man. It says, ask us to help you in the situation. And we will immediately go to work on your behalf. We are governed by many universal laws, and among them is free will that allows you to make your own choices and decisions. So we patiently await your request. If they ain't praying, maybe that is the advice. Pray about the situation, and the answer is going to come through the crown chakra. So pay attention to them ideas. When you're just sitting there, and then here come a thought, and you wasn't thinking about it. You weren't thinking about nothing that had to do with that. This is how it be sometimes. You might be like, oh, should I paint the baby's room blue or purple? You might have asked yourself that question Monday. Come Wednesday, you get ready. You out there cleaning out the car and all of a sudden you get purple. Paint it purple. You weren't thinking about it. You, you hadn't even thought about it no more since you had asked the question out loud. That's how it be sometimes with the crown chakra. So pay attention to them, the ideas that come in your head as they are messages of true divine God and sent to answer your prayers. A lot of the time, we, I'm going to say we because I do it too, we'll get the answer. We be thinking that the most high God don't be answering, but they do. We'll get the answer and then we want confirmation on that one. 
and they'll give us confirmation on that. Then we want another confirmation. Okay, it will if you confirm this this last time, I ain't gonna ask no more. Confirmation come through. Okay, well, okay, okay, all right. So I know you, I know you said that, but if this, if that's really what you want me to do, let a baby fart three times. Baby coming for it three times. And it, people just be questioning and questioning and questioning. The answers be there already. And so it could have been a whole lot of chitter chat, a whole bunch of people telling somebody what to do. And so maybe somebody just need to pull back with that hermit energy and hear their own thoughts, feel their own emotions, feel the situation out. Because sometimes things look good, but it don't feel good, you know. Or sometimes... Um, they don't look good, but they fit. I hope I didn't just confuse y'all because I just confused myself. But y'all know what I mean. So I feel like there's a few different people out here, but the one that could be dealing with this energy right here is that hermit. And this could be that hermit. This could be that hermit. And if it, you know, I don't know who the, this advice is for. This advice could be for the main female. This advice could be for the hermit. And it also says, ask Archangel Michael to clear any old attachments to fear that stem from past relationships, freeing you from destructive patterns. So this is kind of like somebody who always goes after the same type of energy. It never works. So they always get hurt or they always get cheated on or blah, 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 blah. Because sometimes the things that we want ain't what the fuck we need. And that's a hard pill to swallow sometimes. That's for those of you where this is involving a relationship. Sometimes what we want ain't what we need. And the most high I always know what we need. You know what I'm saying? So... There's something that this person always does and the spirit is telling them to uh, free themselves from that. Maybe the fear makes this person move fast or the fear makes this person completely shut down and hold back all together. I don't know what it is, but it's some type of destructive pattern. Um, and it says, ask Archangel Michael to help you with that. Call on the angels. They real, man. They, they Look at them right there. A patiently waiting your request. That would cause say. So we patiently await your request. Stay right there. You can have two people being guided to a person, place, a thing, or each other. And uh, maybe somebody's all in their head, or maybe someone's being controlling, like it said, or whatever's going on. And so you got this energy right here, like, hey man, we waiting on y'all, or we waiting on you, something like that. See only love. Look past seeming errors, mistakes, and misunderstandings. See only love within each person, including yourself. All right, y'all take that how it resonates. And leave the rest of it. I still see a unique situation coming out of this thing. I love y'all from the bottom of my feet, both of them. Till next time, bye.